This morning we are learning how to deck the walls and rev up our taste buds with food inspired decor. Design guy Brian Thompson is here to show us some creative ideas and you have got food on the brain this morning. I do. Thanksgiving's all about food and getting together with family so I thought what better time than to put together some things for your house that are inspired by food. And they're very whimsical I might add. Let's yeah, start over here. Tell us what you've got. Okay well basically this is a room divider and it's inspired by spaghetti. If you've ever seen spaghetti before you boil it, it looks just like this. <laughs> Look this. Uh, isn't that funny? Now, you wouldn't probably want to get undressed on behind it if you had a roommate, right. but you could put a few of these in a big space, like a loft, and it sets up kind of like an ambient uh, atmosphere. Kind of modern, kind, kind of, of modern. Asian influence. Yep. Well, I guess it would have to be Italian influence right. if it's spaghetti. spaghetti pasta. What am I thinking? Okay, <laughs> what's this? Here? Uh, this is the orange slice chair. Um, basically, it comes from an orange slice. It looks like two slices of an orange. And uh, again, it's kind of fun, funky, fun. Yeah, modern. kind of modern looking. Is it yeah. comfy? I think so. If you want to, we can give it a seat. Yeah, I'll give it a little seat. Okay. Yeah. As I sit down, you can go to the next little item that we're okay. looking at. Oh, it's well, very comfy. Yeah? What Good. else we got? Okay, well, we got a couple things. This is a tea bag lamp. This is the only thing I designed here. Basically, it's just a, it's a giant tea bag, and I designed it on an air flight from New York to San Diego. We were having tea, and I thought, how cool would it be if you could have a product that warmed your soul kind of like tea does? So you so, put it on a nightstand or something. Mm -hmm. You just put it next to your bed or wherever, and wherever it's a light. And it's a lamp, yeah. Look at that. Okay, now, I love what's behind it. <laughs> Let's show everybody this. Well, this is perfect for Thanksgiving because after you've eaten everything, you're probably going to need some aspirin. So I thought it would be really clever to bring in this <laughs> medicine cabinet, which which is shaped like a giant aspirin. Look at that. It's yeah. a medicine cabinet. And then you open up and your shelves are inside. Here, open it up. How cool yeah. is that? Yeah. It's or on a day like today, maybe a little alka seltzer, huh? You might need that. <laughs> yeah, might work. All um, right, let's go to what's next. Well, this is a spaghetti bowl. Again, we got a pasta theme going on here, but this is a bowl made out of pasta. Oh my gosh, it's like plastic. Yeah, yeah, it's resin coated pasta and you can just... Uh, what would you put in here? Well, I guess you'd put fruit or maybe more food. <laughs> <laughs> or you could even put magazines or something, I guess. I think so, yeah. It it's big enough. Table, or it's yeah. like, almost like a table. Yeah. All right. And you have brought some food or some beverages, well, I should say. What's this? Well, this is actually the only edible design I brought, but it is... Since it's Thanksgiving, uh, Jones Soda put out a line of Thanksgiving special flavors. Mm -hmm. So if you're game, I thought I'd give you a taste test. I'm game. Okay, because we've got flavors like turkey dinner... Uh, pea soup, and let's see if you can guess this one. They're drinks that are like food? Yeah, they're drinks that are like food. All right. Now, I hope that I don't... Uh... And I love the glass. Look at the, the, gold, <laughs> the goldfish glass. Yeah. All right, so this is something orange. Yeah. So I would guess. think it'd be like, I don't know, sweet potato or oh, carrots or something. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it it's, yeah, I don't know. It's, yeah. yeah, well, it's I, not undrinkable, but it's sweet potato-y. Yeah, it is sweet potato. Is that potato. what it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I won't make you that. drink anymore. But you know what? It's fun, though. These are fun. They come in what other flavors? Oh, uh, turkey dinner gravy. I think actually this one tastes like Pepto Bismol. Okay. So, you know, they're good. Actually, I like to play tricks on my family, and um, these are one, fun ones to, to take. You are a fun guy, Brian. Uh, <laughs> All right, moving on down here. These are the holiday packs. They come in mm -hmm. these uh, little. Where'd you buy them? Oh, uh, I got this at Target. I mm -hmm. got all of the furniture at Mixture Designs on Kettner. Mm -hmm. and, um, That's then, a new store, isn't it? Yes. A fairly new store? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. They do a lot of really. Um, fun events and they get involved with the design community so yeah. I, li I like I like that and store. you're a definite a designer I love the tea bag Are you working on any other projects yeah uh, I have a couple other little products uh, most of them will be at mixture design so you can find them there well great yeah. we're gonna have to invite you back so you can share just a little fun stuff and we have one more little uh, item to show you and you have to move them over yeah. here so well, we can get a good lick I didn't think it would be a holiday without bringing a hot dog so um, this is Lou and he is dressed up as a hot dog although he he looks more like a pack mule <laughs> So. A little something for the pooch. <laughs> We've got a theme. Oh, he's a yeah. ham, too. Yeah. Yeah. Brian, thanks hey. so much for sharing. Lou, you're adorable. Go home, but no turkey for you, Lou. Nope. All right. All happy right. Thanksgiving. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, everybody.